everybody. Hello, Heather. <coughs> <laughs> As you can tell, we are still not feeling well. Kevin was feeling much better yesterday, and then today he took another turn for the worst. I'm not that bad, but I'm not, <coughs> I don't know what's going on because I thought I was over this. And I am just not kicking it at all. I'm cold. So, she's cold. Did you hear that? She's cold. Okay, so let's get to these shout-outs. Yay. <coughs> Bella Chant. Bella Chant. All the way from New Zealand. Welcome to the neighborhood. Say, okay. Say hello to Peter Jackson for us. Is he there right now? where he lives, I assume. Oh, okay. That's where he makes all his movies. Hi, Peter Jackson. I'm sure you're watching our, our YouTube channel. <laughs> We're short enough to play Hobbits. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, it hurts. Okay. <coughs> Proudest Mama 77. First of all, you never need to apologize to us. Um, she's been in the hospital for two days. Her seizures have been getting worse. Um, right now she is home. She's trying to get settled in and relax. So you do what you need to do and take care of yourself. Um, but she did answer, um, the question about a business and her business. She makes hair bows and headbands for her daughter and her nieces. And she would like that to go somewhere someday, <clears throat> and she would like to call it Whimsical Hair Accessories. I would buy some of those things, you know me, with my little uh, headbands. I'd definitely do that. They better have ears. <coughs> if they have ears, she'll buy them. <coughs> or flowers. I like flowers, too. And ears. Um... And then she says, as for Saturdays, depends on how we are feeling and the weather. We usually get up, have breakfast, pick up if need be. Then in the summertime, we almost always head to the river to go fishing and camping. How much fun is that? I know you don't enjoy that. I enjoy camping very much. We camp usually two to three weekends a month. Because we wow. love it so much. If the weather isn't that nice during that time of the year, I switch my shopping day around to Saturday. So we go grocery shopping, etc. And usually hang out inside where it's warm and watch a movie or play some games and enjoy nice family dinner. That's pretty nice Saturdays. I, I love, I used to, my family used to camp a lot too. And I, I loved going camping. Absolutely loved it. Okay, now, my question yesterday was, what do you usually do on your Saturdays? Okay. Oh, Rio family, <coughs> now that her daughter is back in Hawaii, they usually spend their Saturdays with them. Yeah, I would too if, if my daughter has been gone for a while. You know, Megan's getting ready to leave. It's going to be hard on me. Angie Lupus Life, create art and watch YouTube videos. Pretty good answer. Watch my shoulder. Tanya Longley usually works on Saturdays. So, depends on the day and if she works. But if she works on a Saturday, she usually brings her father the Sunday paper and spends, the, spends some time with them on Sunday. So that's pretty nice. Not that you have to work on a Saturday, but Jack Salmon. Saturday is the day we donate our time and money to help with the starving Indians of Northern California by losing money in their casinos. If they're losing money in their casinos, they never lost it to me. I've always donated. <laughs> by playing. She meant the same thing. He gives them money. Oh. Get it? Oh. He, go, he goes to the casino uh. and drops money. She didn't even know what that meant, Jack. I thought you meant you really, like, go there and Oh, help yeah, him. sure. 
Okay. Don't worry, she's done it too. Yes, I have, and I never win. <laughs> um, Melody Mainville says, it depends on if it's a holiday or not, but typically they just rest and snooze. Tanya Ray, I enjoy spending my Saturdays, which by the way, welcome back Tanya, I know you've been going through a lot, I hope everything's okay, we missed you. <clears throat> I enjoy spending my Saturdays fishing on our boat with my little family, and family time is awesome and special. And she hopes uh, that we're feeling better soon. Yeah, so do we. So do we. <laughs> we're getting tired of this. <clears throat> <clears throat> they have that song, um, what's it called? Get Down With The Sickness? Yeah, that we've been playing with that for <coughs> the last couple of days. Yeah, and they, they do that one part in the song. <laughs> <laughs> now we know where I got that idea. Because <laughs> we do that a lot. <coughs> we both feel like we have great big elephants stuck right here. Um, Bambi S. My days just kind of flow into the next day. Saturday just means getting no calls in relations to doctor's appointments and insurance calls for my son. Just another day for me. Never really plan things out anymore. Just spontaneous moments and last minute plans to go at awesome places like Laguna Beach happens when my kiddo is feeling good. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you have a a child or a even an adult with disabilities that you, that you have to take care of or even someone like me with everything that I go through to really plan something sometimes it's just like yay you're feeling good today let's go <clears throat> so it is kind of hard Dougie style on Saturday there's an auction not far a way that I like to go to. I'm always looking for something useful at a fraction of the retail price. One time I got an electric chainsaw for the great in great shape for $20. Groovy, man. Yeah. Crimson Fairy. She really works a lot during the week, so she likes to sleep on her Saturdays. The Abyss 92882. Saturday is his family movie Horror movie marathon day, even though they aren't into movie, horror movies. I love movie marathon days when we do them. Yeah. We do them around October. Yeah, we usually do October because then we do all the Halloweens and... and now, nowadays it takes us all day just to watch one movie. <laughs> it's hard. I can't sit still. It's, it's really hard. Uh, Terry Johnson, my Saturdays are usually spent with Bill running errands, <clears throat> and she's glad that Sarah isn't here getting our colds. So is she. Yeah. She came by yesterday, and no hugs or anything, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not about to give her that. Um, Betsy, wa Betsy Wetsy wa raves her wand again to try and help us get better. And um, she thinks she needs a new one, so she's going to be first in line to get a new one once we start making them again. <laughs> Vlog days. She says, yay, shout outs, and hope we feel better soon. So thank you. I'm glad you're liking the way we're doing our shout outs. I think that's all I have for today. So what is your typical Saturday? Well, nowadays, my typical Saturday isn't much different than any other day. <clears throat> Except I don't get up and check for uh, new postings for work. But uh, when I was working, I basically didn't wake up until absolutely had to, because I used to have to get up early in the morning, long days working. Um, <clears throat> when I was not sick when I was better. We used to go places, you know, and um, since I've been sick now for a while, we haven't really been going too many places. No. We used to do a lot of Renaissance fairs, which is something I really, truly do want to get back into. So hopefully my surgery goes well. 
I get it soon and we can start doing all those types of things again and take you guys along with us. That'd be cool. Yeah. So my question for today is, what is the disadvantages and the advantages of being your height and why? Groovy, man. Yeah. It's time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! That's it. Alright. <laughs> you can cut, relax now. Alright. Uh, yesterday's question was sort of a, a, a uh, trick question. Tricky, tricky. Trick question. Cabin Fever 2002. Who played the man in the bunny suit? And um, we don't know. Because in the credits it just says we're, we're not telling. We'll never tell. Uh, some people think it was Eli Roth. That's the guy who wrote and directed the, the movie. But nobody really knows because they're not telling. Um, Greg Myers threw out Ozzy Alvarez. And uh, he actually was in the, uh, the Bunny Suit, but in the sequel. So we don't know who was in it in the first movie. And those who got that right was the YouTube guy, number one. Woo! Haven't heard from him in a while. Terry yeah, Johnson, welcome back, by the way. Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Van S. And uh, a couple of them mentioned something about pancakes. There's this bizarre pancake thing going on as well. So if you watch the movie, keep your eye out for pancakes. One of the animals is farting again. Okay, tonight's question is about the 2001 The Others. Good really, movie. really, really good ghost story movie. Good I really movie. like it. And my question for that one is, uh, the children were suffering from a disease that, that kept them from going outside. What was that disease? It's a real one. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all <laughs> very much thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff we have going on. We will see you guys all 